Well, we've spent the last few episodes talking about home upgrades and landscaping and such that I figured it's about time to take a look at what we already have and find the best way to make the most out of it. So I visited Dave from Mates Home Services who gladly showed me the best way to maintain an oil-fired hot water boiler. Okay, Dave, what do we do in this situation? I know that I'm not ready to update my system, but I would like to know how can I increase the longevity of it and hopefully lower my energy bills. Well, Amy, whether you have a heat pump or a gas system or an oil system, the most important thing you can do is to have it maintained on a, on a yearly basis. Okay, and maintained, what do they do? They go and um, clean it out? What is the maintenance? Yeah, it's a pretty extensive process, uh, and then I can certainly uh, take you through it here. And what we have in front of us here is an, it's an oil boiler. So a boiler would be something that makes hot water. Mm -hmm. So hot water it circulates through radiators or things of that nature. And it's an oil fired system and we have a, an oil gun here. So the procedure would be to take off and strip it down to its inner core, so to speak. Okay. And that would be the heat exchanger. This one here in particular is a cast iron boiler. Now the beauty of this system here, Amy, is um, that this has a door on it. Most systems don't. It has a door on it that allows us to go and access every square inch oh, of that oh cast iron system. Oh my gosh. How about that? Uh, yuck. <laughs> <laughs> is that something? Well, this is what, what we find is out. That? This is probably one that's in, the, in, in better shape that, that, that we see. This and is better shape. This is probably in, in pretty good shape. Yeah, it's been uh, maintained uh, for this client every year. And uh, yeah, we, uh, we have definitely some soot problems here. So that's soot, because some of it, I mean, it's different colors and everything. Yeah, yeah, there's, uh, that's soot, and there's probably a little condensation happening in there too. That's where, where you see that, that the red, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the, the red deposit. That's on your finger there. <laughs> yeah, that, it's like uh, yeah. staining. <laughs> no, the interesting thing is with soot. I mean, you see in here, what, what do we have? Maybe about at least half an inch buildup of soot here. Oh. Um, just one sixteenth of an inch of soot buildup increases your energy cost by 10%. Really? Yeah. Okay, so once a year they'd come in, this mm -hmm. is going to help lower my bills, mm -hmm. and they'd clean all this out. Yes, yeah. We'll Hopefully go through I and, have, yeah. We're going through with a brush, all right? A okay. vacuum cleaner and a brush. Now with this, this system, like I say, the design of it is just is, is phenomenal because we can get in here very easily access, accessible. Mm -hmm. We can clean everything out here from the front with a brush and a little help from the vacuum cleaner and get it down to as bare metal. So it acts as an insulator. So obviously you don't want insulation between your flame, your flame that comes out of here, this mm -hmm. is the business end of it, and the heat surface, transfer surface uh, right here, that's the cast iron mm -hmm. section. So you want that clean down the bare metal. And that's what we do on a yearly basis. We take care of that, we, we, we uh, vacuum it all down, brush it down, and we get into the, uh, on the burner itself, uh, replacing the nozzle, there's a nozzle right at the end there. Okay. That's where the oil comes out and it atomizes it, uh, makes it uh, very easy to light off. So, okay. so we'll change that nozzle because there's some very small orifices in there and that you want to make sure it's, it's, it's changed on, a, on an annual basis. And once that's all done, we'll uh, button it all back up, we'll fire it off, mm -hmm. and then we'll take some, uh, some readings with our gauges and we'll adjust the air-fuel mixture. That's very important as, as well. So we have these electronic uh, gauges here. And what is the air-fuel mi uh, mixture? Well, the air-fuel mixture is, is, uh, is the proportion of air that's mixed in with the fuel. So that nozzle atomizes it, and then we also bring air in there to help uh, atomize it as well. And with that, we have some tools here. We have this, uh, this gauge that we, we stick in there, and when it's firing off, we'll uh, measure carbon dioxide percentages and adjust it accordingly. And then, um, as far as cleaning, the last thing we'll do is the chimney. As you see where it comes up through here, and it goes into the base of the chimney, we'll pull that off and we'll inspect the base of the chimney. And does the, the chimney also look like, with all the soot, like the inside of this yeah. does? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's great though, at least we know that there's, if you maintain and you have someone come every year and do this stuff, then you don't have to maybe make another investment for a while. 
And in the exactly. meantime, your energy bill is going to be lower as long as you are doing the proper maintenance. Yes, that's about it. Wonderful. Okay. Again, thank you. Sure, you're welcome. <laughs> now for our special segment, Mate's Green Tip of the Day. As the summer's coming to an end, it's the perfect time to go and check the batteries of your smoke detectors. Make sure everything's working, and if you do not have a carbon monoxide alarm, you need to get one installed. That's your Mate's Tip of the Day. Mate's Green Tip of the Day.